What's good everyone, it's James from the Fishing Bible back again. Today we're going down towards um, somewhere near the Salt Dean area, New Haven, Peace Haven, I'm not even sure yet. Um, right now I'm in London, about to leave, it's about um, 7.30 in the morning, coming up towards 8am. And um, yeah, we're going to get down there and see what we can get. I bought some um, frozen bait yesterday. It's a big dog, Storm, Storm, me. Hey. Yes, and um, yeah, I bought some frozen bait yesterday, some frozen squid, frozen um, logworm from a local shop down here. But because I'm getting down there a bit later than expected, I'm just gonna um, leave that frozen bait here for another day and go and get some um, fresh bait. Hopefully they'll have some log or some ragworm and I'll get some more, um, well, get some more squid and um, so yeah, my cat just ran very very fast down there for some reason but yeah anyway um gonna get all my stuff ready now and make my way down there So for the first location, this is where I parked up, Bastion Steps Car Park. Uh, this is the post called BN108LS. Um, there was a sign saying it's 12 hours free parking. And then after that, you've got to leave for 12 hours and then you can come and park again. This is where I went first, Peace Haven Angler, to get some fishing tackle and some live bait. And then from here, it's literally just along this road here. The A259 to Steening Avenue and then you go straight down to the end and that's where you can park. Alright, so the couple um, that worked at Peace Haven Angling, they recommended me to go to um, Seaford Beach, which is where I am going to go. But right now, basically I want to eat, yeah, and it's like 11am and the fish and chip shop I want to go to don't open till 12 yeah. So, right now, I believe I'm at New Haven. No, is it New Haven or Peace Haven? I'll put the location in here. But um, I'm gonna go and just do like some light fishing with just one rod and some feathers, just for like an hour or two. And then afterwards, I'll go get something to eat. And then I'll go um, to Seaford Beach and fish for a few hours or so. But yeah, this is where I'm parked up here. About to go down now. Down them stairs.
first cast and I got a snag. And you know what? That's what I was worried about. The guy said down here gets get some snaggies. So I didn't actually know where to go, but try to get out of this. Literally my first cast. Yes, I got it out. Um, I'm still trying again. I'm gonna throw it out. I've moved along a bit. I'm gonna throw it out again. What I'm gonna try to do is I usually let it sink to the bottom and then I drag it along the seabed. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw it out and start reeling it in straight away. Just in case like the rocks are at the bottom that's snagging on. I don't want it, I don't want it dragging on them rocks getting snagged. So I'm just gonna reel it straight in. All right, this is what I want to know here, because this is what I'm thinking. If the bottom is snaggy, yeah, but I still want to use the mackerel feathers, would it not make sense? Because when I'm dragging it in, it's just running right along the top. So, would it make sense for me to put a float? So I've never used a float before, so um, that's why I'm asking. So would it make sense for me to put a float here? That way I can like reel it in a bit slower and just the weight and these hooks will be dragging under the water as opposed to gliding right along the top anybody who knows if that's a good idea just so i know for next time because i haven't got any floats here anyway but it seems like it makes sense peace haven you won Got a man up. All right, Peace Haven. You won. You won the war, Mr. Peace Haven. So now I'm gonna go get me some. How was my acting? Anyway, yeah. Now I'm gonna go get some fish and chips. You know, make myself cheer myself up a bit, and then. I'm gonna go Salt Dean Beach where I should have went in the first place because I heard about the snagging. And you know what? I spoke to somebody over there and he said, yeah, what he's doing, why he's not snagging is he's throwing it out and just reading it straight in. He's not letting it sink, which is, yeah, what I should have done in the first place. But I was doing that. But a couple of times I left it for like a second or two and it literally, it was dropping to the, to the seabed too quick, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna go to um, get something to eat now and then I'm going Seaford Beach. So here's the car park, buckle car park. Literally just park up anywhere in here. 12 hours staying on return within two hours. Maybe just cross the road. Alright, so I just got to Seaford Beach. And yeah, so Peace Haven did not go too good. Yeah, Peace Haven did not go too good. So yeah, I'm gonna um, fish properly now. I'm gonna get my live baits out there 
and I'm gonna be um, spinning for mackerel. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of seagulls in the water down there. So I'm gonna be fishing about here. But yeah, there's a lot of them seagulls down there, so I'm hoping that means there's a lot of fish in the water. I don't think I've ever even seen that much seagulls when I've gone to a beach before. It's a lot. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go get my stuff and I get set up and we'll see how it goes. So I'm just beating on my first rod right now. Um, I'm using a two hook flapper and I'm gonna put on rag and squid on both. All right, so there's my squid there. And then here's my rag. I'm gonna beat up now. Alright, so I've got that rod there set up with the live bait and um, yeah, now I'm going to be setting up this rod here with some feathers and trying to get some mackerel. I didn't realize I basically ran out of land. So I can either tie on some more land right now or I'm just, it's like, as far as I throw it, like as far as I can throw it, it's literally where it just ended when it was all, all the way um, wound out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just not gonna throw it as hard as possible. I'm gonna throw it a bit less hard and then that way I can still just reel it in, reel it back out without having to change over. All right, I've had this out for about, 30 minutes and I've been doing the feathers for about 20 minutes. I'm winding this in for the first time. This is just the rag and the squid. There were nothing knocking on that. No, nothing on it. All the bait's still there. You know what, yeah? And I didn't get no um, mackerel with the feathers either. But you know what? When I got here, the people that was fishing, most of them have gone. They're still one person there and there's one person there but there was more before but um there's so many people on this beach i'm just thinking it's probably scared with the fishery even the birds ain't even here now i feel like there's a lot more people here than when i got here and yeah i'm gonna keep fishing anyway i was gonna stop here um i wasn't gonna go into the night but i'm thinking about it just because i'm thinking it'll be a lot more clear and the fish might uh, come back because I have heard recently in this area there's been a lot of mackerel coming up but yeah I'm going to throw this back out there now anyway I decided to stop being lazy and I put a new line even though you know this is all I got left so it's not even that much more than what I had in the other one but at least now I can cast it out properly innit I've just rebaited 
and somebody along there's caught caught three mackerel on feather so I've got my live bait out and I'm gonna just try with these feathers and I hope y'all get luck as well hooked onto one of my hooks what is that? that skills anyway I'm going to throw it back in the water I think I might have something you know oi there we go hey lovely First catch. Lovely. Three of them. Huh? A rag, no. I'll help you unhook it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the mackerel are non-stop look my man's got some there and then look oh sugar i'm sure i got something on this rod as well sure i got something i just caught them other three about five minutes ago Ooh. how much is that five oh my days all right so i just got three on the last one that's another three Four, five. Trying to skill, brother. Do you want to go home or not? Look, this is after I've, I've changed the line on this reel, and still, when I cast it out, look, it literally goes all the way to the end. But, boy, I've caught. Eight fish, eight mackerel like this, or it must be my lucky charm. Oh my days! What's that now? Eight, one, two, three, four, five, it's 13. Let me see if I can catch it on camera. Look, they just jump. You can just see these fish jumping. Look. I hope the camera is getting it, but you can see fish jump. I can see the mackerel jumping, the white bait, look. More again. Oh my god, this is crazy. More coming back again. Oh, it fell off. Literally, you got right to the end of the shore and then fell off the hook. It was only one of them on it though. Just after that one just fell off, the next cast, and then there's one back on it again. Whoop. And again, and again, there was another one on it as well, fell off. 
throwing it back out. Yeah, I'm out of breath because I just ran to my car to get some carrier bags and my cool bag to put some of these fish in because some of them are actually big enough to take. Hang on. Yeah, some of them are actually big enough to take and they're just coming in non-stop. So the one that's big enough, I'm just going to be putting them in my cool bag now, taking them home. And yeah, I'm going to stay till about 8.30 and it's coming up to like 7 now. And then yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I'm going back to get that, what's it called, wild flower pizza. Because that pizza was serious. But yeah, I'm gonna start casting out again. Yeah, so literally these white bait are coming right here. So I'm just getting my rod, throwing it out a little bit. I'm literally throwing it out a tiny bit here. Right to the front. I leave it there for a second and there's so much mackerel. Watch. Watch. Look. There's just so much. Look, it's just coming straight in. It's just coming straight in. That's how much it's coming. It's crazy. Easy. Oh, oh poke myself, boy. This one, yeah, that's had my live bait on it, has been sitting there for hours and now it's looking like it might have something on it. Ooh. I don't know what's on this. I'm hoping it's not a mackerel. I want to see a pod or something on there, you know? Yeah, something else. What's that? Whew! You got that to go now. What's this one? I ain't never put this before. What's this blue one? Hood? It's a small one. Yeah, Gernard, yeah. But it's a small one. So I just got this one here. This one caught onto the live bait. Look, it's on the rag and the squid. Yeah, first time catching this one. What do you say it's called, mate? Gernard. Gernard? Gernard. 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 Yeah, it's just a little one. I'm going to unhook it. Oof. I'm going to unhook it, throw it back in the water. But yeah, literally, this has been sitting there for hours. This has been sitting there for hours doing nothing. I was even about to reel it back in. But yeah. It's a pretty fish, though. Let me get a good video of it. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. That is a beautiful fish. Because you, you, you want it to live, man, really, innit? That's what I'm saying, I'm trying to unhook it quick. That's it, you got it out there, innit? Yeah. Let's put, put, it back, put it back now, innit? Let's get in this.
Love you. Alright, that's me done now, man. It's about 7.30 now. It's like a couple minutes to 7.30. And I don't even know what time I got here. But all I know is I was looking to stay here until... I was looking to go get food, come back, and then fish till like 2 in the morning. But because I got so much fish, it's been non-stop mackerel. I was even lucky enough to get that Gernard fish. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But um, yeah, I got a couple of mackerel to take home. I'm going to pack up my stuff now before it gets too dark to even pack. And yeah. I'm gonna go, don't judge me, but I'm getting the pizza again. Cause that pizza was wicked and wild. Yeah. And then, yeah, I'm going back to London. I hope I can stay awake cause these motorway drives when it's late, whew, I struggle. But um, yeah, until next time, boy. <laughs>